Hey, good looking. So today's workout is my 15 minute beginner's Tabata workout. So this is fantastic if you've been meaning to try a Tabata and try to figure out what the heck it's all about. And if you are new to fitness, you're gonna need a chair, some water perhaps, and then just your body weight. Easy peasy, let's go. Well, it's going to be about 18 minutes after warm up and cool down. Beginner's Tabata workout. So a Tabata is a more intense form of exercise where you do eight rounds of a move, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Now we're going to perform four moves and do a circuit. So we're going to do one through four and then back up to the top for eight rounds. We're doing lower impact versions as well as sort of beginners and modified versions of the more advanced moves that you'll see on regular Tabata workouts. All right, it's gonna be awesome. So don't go anywhere. If you're a beginner, I need you to stay with me. So let's get warmed up a little bit here. Give me some arm circles. So if you're new to the channel, I am PJ and I'm so happy to have you. I will warm you up, work you out, and cool you down, and I will show modifications throughout. It is so important that I enable anybody where they are in their fitness journey the best workout that they can have. All right, now arms out for me. Feet hip width apart. I want you to push your bum back for a squat and then come up and lift off the heels. Do it again. Bum back, lift off the heels. Good job. So you're going to need a sturdy chair. We're going to start with the chair to begin, and we're going to move on. As I said, we have four moves. Last three, two, one more, one. All right, feet apart now. Bring the heel up to the bottom for butt kicks. This is going to be one of our Tabatas, but done with a little bit more impact, or you can stick with this lower impact version. But right now we're doing this to warm up into the glutes and the hamstrings. Good job. Four more, here's four, and three, and two, one more, excellent. Now keeping the body tall, bring the knee to the chest, then the other knee. So don't dip your body towards your leg, I want you to stay upright. If you're having a hard time with balance, hold on to something, but lightly, because I do want to challenge your balance. We tend to lose that as well as our minds <laughs> as we age, so balance can be trained. It's open our minds. Last two, and release. All right, finding that chair, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with a squat. The chair is there because I want you to push your bum back and touch the chair and come up again. Let's try it. Come all the way down and up. So this is how I teach people how to squat. I always put a chair or bench behind them because it gives them that sensation that they need to push your bum back to find that chair. So I wanna keep the knees behind the toes so you're in a safe position for the knees. One more, and release. Now come down into a plank, so I want you to come down, stay on the knees, and come into a forearm plank. Now come lead up with the left arm, and then the right, and then down. Now lead with the right arm, so we're alternating your lead arms. If you're more advanced, you can go on the toes, okay? So this is the advanced move. This is called a plank up, and we're working the upper body as well as the core. Just lead with different arms. One more, and release. Come on up. All right, we're gonna do those butt kicks I warned about when we were doing the warm up. So you're gonna do this, or you can pump up the intensity and bring the heels up. So you can do low impact or no impact. Well, I guess that's the same, isn't it? You can do no impact or impact. We're using the chair for our final move. We're going to do a really good core move called a mountain climber. Time. All right, hold on to the seat of your chair. Your chest is right over the chair for me. Bum is down so you're in a plank. Now draw the left knee to the chest, straighten it, and now the right knee. And keep alternating. It's called a mountain climber. More advanced people, you can go right down onto the floor, okay? And not do it elevated. So your choice. So those are our four moves, huh? See, two batteries aren't that bad. We're gonna take it back from the top. Ready? Release. All right, let's do that squat. Now, if you wanna speed it up, now that you know what you're doing, by all means, just don't lose the form. Good, push the bum back and up. 
Knees stay behind the toes. You want to maintain a neutral spine too. So where I see a lot of people round, pardon me, is the upper back. So believe it or not, we are using our upper back muscles when we squat if we're trying to maintain that posture. Last three, two, one more, and release. All right, plank up. So remember, we are on our forearms, on the knees or the toes, totally up to you. And now plank up, leading with one arm. Go back down onto the forearms. Now lead with the other arm. You got it. Shoulders back and down. Now look up slightly, okay? So we're not dropping the head. We want that neck alignment as well as alignment in the spine. Bot kicks coming up. One more. Time. All right. Feet apart. If you need a water or a break anytime, go for it. Now start with the heels up. And as I said, you can add a little bit of a squat if you want to add a little bit more intensity without the impact. Or you can have the impact. This is like Starbucks. You can order up any exercise you want. Tall, grande, bente, decaf. <laughs> Dive. All right, mountain climbers. Chest over the seat of your bench. Bum down, that's super important. That's how we get the core engaged. Ready, pull a knee in, and then the other knee. So we're almost completed round two. So if you remember my discussion at the beginning, we have eight rounds total. So we're gonna take it back from the top to squat. Todd. All right, squat. Take a look too, you want those feet shoulder width apart and then your knees and toes or hips are straight ahead. Now let's squat, down, down, down. Now if you are quite advanced, where would you go with this? We would add a jump, okay? So if you're a beginner to that, you can see how we can progress these moves. So no matter where you are, you can do a Tabata. Time, plank ups. On the forearms, from the knees or the toes, plank up, down, now lead with the other arm. So I've got a variety of workouts on this channel if you're a beginner. I show modifications in all my workouts, and then if you choose one where you see my loving husband with me, he shows the beginner version of all my moves. Last one. Time. All right, here we go, butt kicks. Start off by just giving me those bum kicks. We're going to add that little squat in between, okay? So we're going to get down, down, squat, squat. Yes, we love squats as trainers. They're functional though, right? We need our legs for life. Time. All right, mountain climber. Again, you can have your hands on the floor, okay? If you find that this isn't challenging enough, I want you to be honest. Ready? Knee into the chest and go. Remember, fitness is worked by the honor system. I have no idea what's going on in your body right now. So I want you to be truthful. Is this challenging you? If it is, fantastic. If you think you can go a little harder, do it. That's how you're gonna see gains. Top. All right, back to the squat. Feet shoulder width apart, knees, toes, hips, straight ahead, and go. You see, the human body is an amazing machine. It will adapt to any stress you give it. So if we keep giving it stress, it can't really almost physically handle, it will get stronger so it can. But we've got to go a little past our comfort zone to get to those extra gains. Time. Plank ups. On the forearms. Okay, ready? Plank up. And now lead with the other arms. However, I'm not asking you to kill yourself so you end up in physio. If that's the case, I have done my job poorly and I take my job very seriously. So work within your limits, but just find that comfort zone and go a little bit past. One more. Time. All right, we're going to do those butt kicks with a little squat, or you can do full impact if that feels cool for you. Start with that. 
Ready? Now abs. <clears throat> Last 10 seconds. So if you want to know the science behind Tabata, I've got a really good blog post on my blog that I wrote about it. Time. It's underneath the blog called One Dumbbell Tabata, and I talk about the research behind it and who studied it and why it's so great. Here we go, mountain climbers, ready, and pull the knees in. Now if you want to go really fast, you can too, okay? And remember, you can also be on the floor. Ready, set, 
Last two rounds, go.
I filmed this to bat it because I had a subscriber who was in her 70s who wanted me to film a beginner, beginner's to bat it. So, if you've got any ideas of what you want to see, comment below. I listen to you guys. And for the main reason is, because I've been doing this for so long now, I feel like I've run out of ideas. <laughs> so if you could give me some, that'd be great. Or at least. Alright, have a seat on the edge of your chair for me. Straighten your right leg, toe up to the ceiling, lower yourself down. You can grab onto your toe, go for it. Stretching into the hamstring and then into the calf as well. Release, other foot, toe up, come down. Release, I'm going to show you a really nice stretch with the chair. Turn it around so you can see. Why well, you sit right back, okay, so the back of your chair is hitting your upper back. Hands interlaced behind the head, pull the elbows back, and now just drop your body over the back of your chair. So nice stretch into the chest, front of the shoulder, front of the body. And release. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've got links here or here, and there's a red YouTube link down there. Please subscribe. Love to see you come back. So, until next workout, go forth and be fit. That wasn't that bad, huh? <laughs> Good job.